Hey guys, today we're going to be exploring the NA10 MCP. So I came across this tool, the NA10 MCP tool, and I thought why not integrate it with Cursor. So let's get started. To start, we're going to use NA10 self-hosted with Docker. So if you don't have that running, you can just install Docker, go to Docker Hub and search for NA10. Once you search it, just press this run button and you can give it a name and make sure to give it any port as well that will be exposed. So you can just do 5678 and click run. So I already have it running over here and it's exposed in this port. As you can see, we have basic workflows in NA10. And make sure to get your key once you log in. It will give you access to folders and such. So now, how do we set up the NA10 MCP? So scrolling down the page, it looks very simple. You can do it with npx NA10-MCP, or you can add it to the uh, Cloud Desktop config. So actually, this is the same syntax that Cursor uses. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you what to do. You have to create a folder called Cursor, dot cursor and then add the mcp.json this is just so that it's a local uh, mcp for this workspace and now as you can see we set up the commands i just copy pasted this basically what i changed though is i added the url to the local instance to my na10 api so and here you might see the na10 api key don't worry, this API key is local to me, so it's all right if I show you guys, but let's see how we can get it. This is done through going to the uh, NA10 settings and searching for the NA10 API. So over here, you can give yourself uh, the NA10 API, which the MCP will be able to use and modify your things. So you can go ahead and press create API key, give it the permissions, or just leave it default. So I created one and this is it basically. So now once you've set the mcp.json, it's recommended by the it's recommended by the tool over here to add some rules so these are all the rules that can give more context on how to use the mcp so let's check out where to get them from so once you go on this link you can go and see the github and search for rules let's see over here this is the cursor installation with uh, an A10 MCP. And at the last step here is to add a new rule. You can use this uh, create rule command. However, you can also just create a folder with the rules.mdc. And over here, when you click, is the markdown for cursor. All right, so once you pasted this in the mcp.json, you can restart uh, cursor. So let's just do it again. All right, now to make sure if it's running or not, you can go to the tools mcp and it should be enabled over here. You can disable it and then enable it. And let's ask it, what NHN tools do you have? All right, so I didn't find the resources. This is because the NA10 MCP is actually a server running, but it can detect the tools, all of these tools that are there. So let's give it a test example. So this is a simple workflow, let's tell it to create something like this. So there's a chat trigger, an AI agent, and a chat provider. 
So let's tell it to create the same thing and see what happens. Create a workflow that starts with a chat trigger, connects to the AI agent node, and uses the open AI chat, what is this called? Chat model. Use the credential open AI API. This credential is just a name that I gave to my API key. However, you can even use local models and I can show you that later on. So for now, let's specify the model to use. Use GPT-5 Nano. Just because this is the cheapest option for now. All right, so let's see what it does. I'm going to go back to the homepage and press enter here. Searching for the chat trigger node. And then it's querying the AI agent node. Open AI chat model node. It's getting more info about the chat trigger. And then the lang chain agent. So it's going and searching for the tools and getting more information. I'm going to let it run everything just for the demonstration so that we can see what it comes up with. Okay, so the last command it ran was the NATN create workflow and we got a success true. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let me refresh my workflows. And there we go, we see that the MCP and cursor just created this for us. Let's have a look on what it does. So there's a chat trigger, AI agent, and a chat model. It's using the credentials that we gave it. And GPT-5 Nano. So does it work? Let's see. Hello from NHN. All right, so we got a response. So as you can see, this has many potential, many benefits. So it can either validate or help you while you're doing your N810 workflows, or even do a rough layout or uh, help you draft even more complex workflows. So this is a great way to enhance your development and really create and utilize as much power as you can from cursor with this mcp tool so thank you guys for watching this tutorial and you can also create uh, nodes that connect to local lm lm studio for example uh, i tried it with quen on lm studio and it actually worked where everything was local instead of relying on an API key. So I hope that uh, gives you a new outlook and new idea on how to develop any 10 models and 10 uh, workflows and get you to creating the workflows that you want. Thank you again and see you guys next time.